Prayer point number one. Father, everything that is not a representation of the life of Christ in and around my life, I declare that it must live right now. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. The Bible says, every tree that has not been planted by my Father, it declares that it will be uprooted. Pray. All the overflows, pray. Outside, pray. Following online pray shiba katos kate prende gede balakatos yada embre kete katos ate galabata everything that is not the planting of christ it must be uprooted right now everything that is not the planting of christ pray manifesting as ill health manifesting as some infirmity and some disease in your body manifesting as occurrences and patterns in your life lift your voice and pray let it come on that judgment right now hallelujah second prayer point first samuel first samuel 12 and verse 6 i believe that should be the scripture first samuel 12 and verse 6 yes please read with me one to read and samuel said unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses and aaron and that brought your fathers out of the land of egypt who advanced them the lord People don't just go forward in their lives. You don't just go forward because you are tired of where you are. There is a hand that can push a man from Egypt to the land of promise. You are going to pray. May that hand, that hand that can push men, mysteriously but surely, may that hand shift you to the next level. Lift your voice and pray. Is someone praying. It was the Lord that advanced Moses and Aaron advance my life oh god in the name of jesus let me encounter by your marvelous hand the grace that advances me the grace that advances me go ahead and pray advancement all wise advancement all wise Declare your advancement in the name of Jesus. Let this unction come upon you today and push you and shift you to a new dimension, a new level of spiritual experience. the lord that advanced hallelujah hallelujah i was i was over in zaria um just midweek down to the weekend before traveling for some other meetings and then coming here and when i went to zaria as as i 
I became very emotional as I was about to enter the city because I could see places where I once walked praying and prophesying and declaring that in the name of Jesus this vision will grow and will bless the world I could see places and I stood there and I said my God only a fool will say in his heart there is no God I saw the things that would look like a dream or some ambitious project happen at the instance of the hand of God with a level of godlike ease it has to be God are we together now I'm saying that to still establish this prayer don't ask is it difficult for God to lift me honestly if you say that you don't know God this God that we're talking about in one day he fed a whole nation not a family a nation and there was a man who said even if God will open the windows of heaven this cannot be possible he repeated that miracle when he fed 5,000 people with five loaf and two fish one more time i'd like you to pray lord i want to leave this current position i am grateful for where you have brought me but there is more for me in christ there is more for me in destiny i obtain grace tonight that will advance me go ahead and pray it was the lord that advanced moses and aaron and brought your fathers out of egypt the place of bondage someone is praying take me to higher grounds oh god higher levels spiritually higher levels financially multiplying your influence and your good hand upon my life for the sake of your kingdom In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Isaiah chapter 49 next prayer point Isaiah chapter 49 we'll begin our reading from verse 24 please pay attention Isaiah 49 shall the prey be taken from the mighty or the lawful captive be delivered you know who a lawful captive is a lawful captive is one who is in bondage legally are we together now yes lawful captive that means there was a legitimate ground upon which the realm of the spirit found access to your life your liberty your family there is such a thing as a lawful captive but the bible says is there a possibility in the dealings of God with men that even those who are lawful captives, that means Satan has an authorized basis. He can stand to say, no, 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 no. I have on a legitimate ground. There is grounds to oppress this family. There is grounds to oppress this destiny. There is grounds to oppress this ministry. But the Bible says even at that, in the dealings of God with men is there a possibility for lawful captives to be delivered 25 it says thus saith the Lord thus saith the Lord it we it's important for us to know who is talking because if it is not the Lord if he says thus saith an angel we're in trouble because angels are limited but thus saith this sovereign authority regardless the legal basis there is still a possibility it says even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered for i will hold on hold on hold on he's telling you how he will do it are we together now Come, Dave, let me use you. Who, who else will come? Come, a doctor. Let me use two of you. Now, watch this. Let's assume, stand here. Since we're wearing white and white, you come. Watch this. 
let's assume that this man that i'm a terrorist are we together now and then i hold this guy because for some reason he gave me legal grounds to hold him are we together now his family may not be able to help him but then let's assume for instance that no no let me not use terrorism let's assume that um this man was a criminal are we together now and say i'm the head of prisons or the correctional center and i've kept him there and this is the president of that territory in as much as there was a legal ground this guy was ordered from court to be in jail for something he did is that true the bible says there is still a possibility the possibility is not when they have already said there is no bail for you yet at a certain time the president there is something called presidential pardon am i right on that this is what god is saying that although your family is where they are because your grandfathers the devil was minding his business your grandfathers came and said please come and help us farm and the devil said for what in return is help them please he said for the destiny of my children and my children's children and the devil said i will protect you from war but make sure you serve me now the missionaries came and brought the gospel and now you decided that i will not serve the devil again he will not fold his arms and wash you there is a basis for that oppression but the bible says i will contend who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle amen. have you known god as a warrior go and read your bible Moses, he said, stand still. This fight is not your own. The Lord will fight for you. And you shall hold your peace. God can fight. Believe me. Listen. Ladies and gentlemen, two angels, not God. Two angels from heaven with hailstone. They wiped a whole piece overnight two angels we don't even know their ranking in the angelic kedah two angels i'm saying this because he's the one who will arise there are matters in families that are not allowing people go forward and just when the devil thinks he's getting away with it again like he has done before give us that scripture let's finish I will contend so back to my example now I'm holding this guy I'm holding doctor and keeping him in one place you will not move forward to manifest your destiny but I forgot that even me I am a citizen of a nation and then the president comes and says whatever it is I use my office remember that the position that you have that authorized you to keep this person was an appointment and the president both me and him two of us are subject to the president's decision are we together now yes. so he comes to grant presidential pardon and then he does not just make that order from his place his villa he comes by himself and enters the correctional center and goes to the room and picks this man and i watch with pain as he leaves him i desire to keep him except that the lord strong and mighty i'm saying this because there are people god himself will reach down to your foundation and pull you out believe me when i tell you this reach down to your foundation once and for all 